Libras, and welcome to your monthly October 2020 Zodiac sign reading. Thank you for coming back, and if you're new, welcome here. Um, so I hope you like my background. I'm trying to switch things up and keep things saucy for y'all, and for myself as well. Okay, guys, so we're going to switch things up this week. Um, before we get into the reading... Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps my channel so much, um, along with sharing. If you find something useful in these videos, please remember to share with your loved one, loved ones, family members, friends, all that good stuff. Okay, help me get my name out there. Uh, also, don't forget to go ahead and give your girl a follow on Instagram at grateful underscore Drake. I do additional readings there every Tuesday and Fridays. So you can catch me over there. I'm pretty active on IG. So uh, that's where you can find me at all the time. All right, y'all. Happy birthday. Happy motherfucking birthday. And uh, let's get into your reading. This week, we're going to focus on the three areas of our life. Uh, we're going to focus on general. So just kind of see what's, what's, what's going on with you guys. I'm going to take your temperature to start with. Then we're going to dip into your love life as well as finances, career, passion okay so kind of see where everybody's at let me see if i have anything else to say i love you guys thank you for coming back and welcome if you're new i think i said that already but <laughs> i'll say it again all right y'all i love you all right libras Okay, guys, so the first, the, the, the very first thing that's catching my attention, um, so just want to say, uh, the devil reverse comes out for you guys, which kind of tells me, uh, maybe birthday season can, um, kind of inspire a lot of partying, a lot of drinking, that type of thing. So I'm just wondering, I'm just well, not even wondering, but I just want to give you guys a heads up that, um, just, just try and remember to stay grounded. There is something showing here for you guys. The very first and last cards you got are major arcana cards, which tells me, you know, the major life themes, the main things that you are going through right now. You're going through some pretty big things. Um, something is being brought to justice for sure. And it may have something to do with uh, somebody who was maybe even kind of emotionally abusive towards you. Could be you, but I'm feeling like it's somebody else. Okay, so we have the King of Cups here next to the Devil. Both of these are reverse. So there's somebody here that was kind of, not kind of, but very emotionally unstable and very much in their shadow. Okay, the first card we get is the Justice card, which which talks about balance and bringing things, you know, bringing things to justice. Yeah, spirits really got their hand in whatever this is, this kind of balancing of the scales. Because right after the Justice card, we have the Ace of Wands, which both the Justice card and the Ace of Wands, it's like each of them have something in their hands. Okay, Justice, the woman of Justice has her sword in her hand like this. Same with the Ace of Wands, um, the, the wand in the hand like this. Both of these characters are holding either their sword or their wand in the right hand, which kind of talks about um, the right side of the body is the masculine side, is the doing, the action side of the body. So very much being done for you, uh, justice will be served for the month of October, okay? In the center, you get Ace of Cups, which is beautiful. 
upright. Ace of Cups is you're flowing and abundant. Okay, so whatever this was you were going through, uh, this situation you were going through with this kind of a, uh, doesn't have to be a water sign, but it's just somebody like very emotionally not, not in their right mind, not stable right now, is being turned around. Okay. Let's pull some clarifying cards for you guys, Libra. Libra. Hmm. Libra. Okay. Libra. Okay, so maybe whatever this situation is with this devil and reverse king of cups, um, even though it looks like it was a, a pretty either unhealthy person or unhealthy time in your life, it, there may be a little bit of resistance on your part about starting over or moving forward, okay? We've got nine of pentacles, which is beautiful, which is like very earthy energy. It's earth sign card. Um, just talks about feeling complete and whole in your body but there's this reverse two of wands which shows kind of like resistance to moving forward and feeling this wholeness within yourself so even though i think that you are aware i think you're aware of your worth and you understand you've got a good sense of who you are um, there is kind of a little bit of a resistance to moving forward. The Emperor shows up for you as well, which is also another major arcana card. It's the sign of Aries. So we've got you. Oh, we've got you on the board. Okay, so Libra, you're showing up in your own reading. Um, so which shows you very much in your power. You may have been battling up against this, this whoever this kind of devil person devil scenario is remember devil in the tarot isn't like like the evil devil you hear about it's it's people who in situations who are dealing with really heavy things in their life and they're taking it out on other people or they're taking it out on the on themselves these are our shadow aspects so it feels like you've very much been handling this situation with with um balance with um grace with fairness with honesty okay so yeah that's cool so we got libra we also have devil which is a sign of capricorn and then we have the emperor which is a sign of aries okay so if those signs don't match we want to just really look at the characteristics of the situation okay the emperor signifies the father and the husband of the deck okay so either this is um, an issue dealing with your father, your husband, or just even um, issues with your masculinity, okay? So the emperor comes upright, so it kind of feels just even more so. I mean, look at the justice card and the emperor card. They're both sitting really um, high, tall, and proud. Uh, they both um, are very much in their power. They're very self-assured. Me. girl I usually don't drink coffee with creamer because it's, there's so much sugar obviously and I'm been trying to work on my physique but during readings it's like my little treat when I do these long readings like this I'm got my coffee with my creamer it's like such a treat keeps me moving through these readings so anyway there's something going on here for sure where it feels like you're very much in your power there is a little bit of resistance about moving on and maybe choosing a new direction choosing a new mate choosing a new situation that type of thing uh, move forward confidently friend though because um you got some really beautiful cards here you got the Justice with the Ace of Wands with Ace of Cups. Two Ace cards, okay? All right, so let's move into love. That, this first part of the reading, 
may have already put their toe, have already been talking about love. I don't know if this is a love relationship that was touched on here, but sometimes that's what'll happen because if I ask the cards, I'm like, just give me a general temperature of what Libra is going through. That may be the main theme, you know, it may be a love situation that you're going through these themes with. But let's delve into love and see what the cards have to say. Okay. Libra, please. Libra. Libra, love, Libra, love. Libra, love. Libra, love. Libra, love. Libra, love. All right, Libra, lots of swords, mainly swords, three swords. I uh, pulled you five cards. Let's. I want to pull um, three of these as well before I get into your explanation. The first thing I see here in the center for your love reading, part of your love part of the reading, is right down the center you get this two of swords, which you had two of wands in the last part of the spread. So we're definitely, uh, regardless if we're talking about love or relationships or or general life themes, you're going through a transition where it's requiring you to kind of shift gears, to kind of go a different path, to pick something. You, ha you have some decisions to make. You have a choice to make, okay? It might be between people. It might just be between a new direction in your life. You may be kind of dealing with themes that make it hard for you to let go and it seems like you might want to be, you're kind of in a space as far as relationships go, Libra, where you may be kind of dealing with um, looking at issues with the past. It might be hard for you to let go of the past. Uh, we have some big, big cards here, some heavy cards. Uh, first thing we have here that I see besides the Two of Swords, Libra, is the Tower card, okay? So um, it does feel like your relationship has gone through a major shift. Uh, a shift is, I guess, a nice way of saying it. The Tower moment, of course, is like the breaking down, the destruction, the overhaul of your life. Usually the Tower moment happens when we're kind of unable to let go of things ourself. The tower moment are things that are done for us sometimes, uh, not always, but um, they're major, major events that kind of wipe the slate clean. Um, somebody in this relationship or somebody in this love situation um, was somebody that really had trouble with um, receiving help, asking for help. Um, just kind of stubborn and stuck in their ways and um, this had to be wiped clean we now have in the center two of swords which is a choice to make and it feels very much so like you don't want to make that choice okay look at this two of swords followed by eight of swords followed by knight of swords these are all uh, Libra kind of cards they're air sign cards so here's our choice our crossroads our direction our journey our path and then here's you feeling quite um, restricted and bound by this choice, okay? And here, this Knight of Swords, kind of looking at the past, dealing with the past, having a hard time. This could be you, Knight of Swords, or it could be somebody else in the relationship, okay? It could be air sign person, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or it could just be kind of the qualities of the card. Um, and the person, it could be the person you're dealing with. This person upright, Knight of Swords, is somebody who's always trying to come to the rescue. You may even have somebody in your picture right now who's like, sees you going through all this and may be trying to rush to your rescue, okay? If it's not that, it really just feels like you kind of dwelling in the past, wanting to continue looking at the past, living in the past, okay? going to take you to kind of step out of your box. The box would be 
your perspective, okay? You got a lot of swords. Swords are the cards of communication. They're the cards of um, perspective. Think the head, right? I always used to say this and I stopped and I'm coming back to it. Swords are the head, our, our vision, our eyesight, our hearing, our voice, our communication. Um, there ha it's, it's also swords have to do with how we perceive information, what's coming in and how are we filtering it in. Three different people could view the same situation and have three different opinions of what happened because of their life experiences all vary. So we're going to have to kind of step at this time in your life in order to navigate the situation. You're going to have to step out of your bubble, out of your box a little bit and try and see things from a broader perspective. It feels like you're really stuck right now. It feels very stuck. The three cards I pulled for you, I pulled some astrology cards. You got the word Ascendant, Trine, and Jupiter. Now, Jupiter's the card is the planet that rules expansion, doing big things, trying new things. Some of the key words are enthusiasm, optimism, generosity, benevolence, seeking, travel, positivity, foreign cultures, teaching, pilgrimage, chants, lectures, expansion, leaping, exploration, and potential. Okay? We're really talking about big big themes that are way beyond the little details of our life okay so you have a major kind of moment that happened here for you in this tower scene and then you seem to be really kind of in the situation through and through nitpicking it you're in the thick of it try and take yourself up out of the situation and look down at the bigger picture look ahead there's a much bigger picture that's available for you Okay. Um, ascendant keyword for this is outlook. Your, your view of it, your perspective of it seems to be really tight and wound up right now. Uh, trying a keyword for this is flow. Okay. Flow, movement, grace, ease. Okay. Some of the keywords are harmonizes, aids, enriches, benefits, energize, enjoys, eases, lubricates, gifts, rhymes, supports, and indulges. Okay, and this, this trying card, flow, comes right underneath this two of swords, okay? Which is our, which is our crossroads, our, our transition, our change, our direction. So it's going to be important for you to have more flow and a broader perspective of the situation in order to better navigate it, okay? Especially in, in, when we're talking about love or relationships or situations like that, those can be some of the trickiest ones, boy. The trickiest. I mean, that's why your girl right here, that's why I'm lightweight. Oh, ten of wands reverse came out. I'm lightweight a hermit because it's just so much easier to deal with myself than to deal with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that's a good thing. You know, it's something I, I, I strive to address and work on, but um, it's hard. Okay, what's coming after? Let me pull some clarifying cards for you guys here. For Libra love, please. Two more. Okay, so there's something new in... Um, budding and and developing beneath the surface you you may actually see it uh might be hard for you to see it though but it's showing up for you very very clearly um showing up here ten of wands reverse is showing that you are working your ass off in some area of your life that will benefit you on physically okay so either it, it will benefit your relationship uh, could have to do with finances, career, uh, but, but I'm feeling mostly like it's about your overall well-being. Okay. You do have to get 10 of wands reverse shows that you're doing working over time and probably working a little bit too much, maybe even having back problems and having physical pains and things like that. Okay. So it's going to be important for you to just pay attention to your body uh, don't overdo it. It's okay to rest. Okay. And, um, there's like this really uh, beautiful abundance that's coming in for you. Um, 
Ace of Pentacles combined with the Page of Pentacles is like, I mean, to me, they both like look like they're about to go plant a seed. It's the beginning of something really beautiful coming your way, Libra. Okay, so it's important for you to take care of yourself. Put yourself first, however, okay? Let's move into career finances or passion for Libras. Wow, got the four of cups in the beginning here first. So we're definitely um, looking at issues just across the board um, in general about you being unwilling to uh, receive help, to accept help. Uh, we're looking at issues about being stubborn and um, not wanting people to be there for you to support you and, and help you through things, okay? So that stopped being cute, like when we were like really young, okay? Um, and I just learned it myself, okay? So I'm in my 30s, so no shame in your game. These are things that um, we've been conditioned with since the time we were born, right? Uh, especially for women. Uh, we, and in certain cultures especially, it's, it's really looked and praised upon. The stronger you are, the more you can take on, the, the better you are. Um, so, but these things are outdated their old stories and they don't really serve us they don't serve us okay so it's important for you to take care of yourself within work and career the way you might make your money and or your passions okay there is a situation here there's somebody that you work with that you've joined with um or somebody that they're urging you maybe not to join with okay uh, two of Cups comes reverse. Uh, it feels like there may have been some sort of kind of um, maybe you guys were beginning a project together. There's something you the two of you began, and it, it may have had to do with some some sort of communication. Um, yeah. But there looks like, it, it's looking like either it didn't pan out the way you thought it would or it might be something that you need to kind of reevaluate because it's coming reverse, okay? Maybe the person you were working with, dealing with, had um, kind of this tendency to, you know, kind of want to do all the work themselves or something like that. Um, then we have the Hermit, which comes upright. This talks about... Uh, your ability to go within and to use your own intuition, your own inner guide in order to see you through this project, okay? Now, Six of Cups, which is like nostalgia, but there may be an element um, to what you're going through that's making it hard for you, like you're only thinking about the past, being kind of stuck in the past. Either that or there was some sort of dispute, sorry, or... Um, disagreement regarding children. I don't know if you guys work with kids or you want to work with kids, but we have the children card, which can be children or it can be like sentiment, um, sentimental feelings and things like that. Let's see if we can get any more information about you guys, Libra, regarding career, passion. I put notes on the board behind me. I can't even read them. Career, finances, or passions. Career, finances, or passions for Libra, please. Oh, there's one. You got Gemini. So you're either um, dealing with a Gemini. You have Gemini in your chart. Ah, remember, guys, uh, make sure to go check... Um, 
if you're looking for additional information or you feel like maybe you want a, a deeper understanding or you or you're looking just for a different perspective it's always good to go check your moon and rising signs to get um different perspectives okay all right let's take those we got cancer and saturn so either we're dealing with people cancer gemini okay hold on Okay, guys, so this is what I'm seeing. You got Gemini, Cancer, and Saturn. Now, Saturn's the planet. He's the father. He's the father planet. He's the disciplinarian. He's structure, order. He is uh, some of his other, some of his other key words are time, right? Father, time, responsibility, test, ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practicality, self-control, tradition, realism, container, bones, maturity, gravity, and scaffolding. So whatever this is that you're dealing with that pertains to the way you make your money, the way you want to make your money, uh, career, finances, passions, um, there is a sense to this that let's say you're quarreling with somebody and you're having disagreements with somebody. It's really important that to just not give up. Um, unless, of course, you got somebody who's being real shady AF and I don't see that at this point. Um, but they want to remind you that in anything we wish to, to truly deeply have, it takes time and effort. It takes consistency. It takes hard work. It takes dedication and it takes structure and it takes, oh my God, the lesson I've been learning my whole life and will be learning it for the rest of my life on different levels is discipline. So if you're dealing with people, and it's funny because... Uh, you when I pull the astrology cards, I get two zodiac signs. So you definitely are dealing with other people where things can be kind of difficult at this time. It's just important to just keep at it. And if you're dealing with difficult personalities, it's really important for you to um, just be really disciplined in how you deal with people and to be able to be really grounded and just keep a structure and consistency with your work career, finances, passions, and things of that nature. Okay, let's pull you guys three more cards for Libras. Libras. Yeah, there's definitely something you're trying to dream up. Libra, you showed up again in your own reading. We got the Justice card, but this time it comes reverse. So there may be something within work or career, which is how I was feeling that felt kind of like somebody's, uh, something's, something's off with somebody here. We have reverse um, justice, which shows something unfair. Someone may have, um, it's definitely got their eyes set on the prize, okay? Seven of Cups. Uh, the thing about this is we want to stay grounded because we want to have big dreams and big goals, but we don't want to be greedy. Okay, so it's important to not be so paranoid about the people around us. Worry about ourselves, okay? And don't be so worried that like somebody's out to get you, somebody, somebody's going to do this or that to me, okay? Nine of Wands is like either having poor boundaries or like over the top being like paranoid with yourself. All right, Libra, I love you guys. Make sure to hit that su subscribe button. And uh, yeah, share these videos if you found them helpful. I love you. Check your moon and rising. And I'll see you next week. All right, check your element video. All right, guys, take care.